for another prediction of week 11 of the NFL. But before we get into that, let me do some housework here. If you are new to this channel, smash that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, give the video a big thumb up, and comment down below how is your weekend going and who are you predicting to go in the Super Bowl? Let me know down below. And with that being said, let's get into some action. All right, guys. Well, we can was not what I was expecting. Um, I was not expecting any of that to happen in week 10. So many almost still, still, let's see, there's 32 teams in the NFL. And I want to say five of them had a bye week, or no, four of them. I think four of them had a bye week. And the rest of them, every single game in week 10 was lost or won by two points or three points. Like, you don't see that in football. Like, that means that was a good week. And. A lot of action happened in that week. Um, I'm a little upset. If you saw the other video yesterday, you would know why. Part, part one, Alabama lost, unfortunately. And then the next day, Buffalo lost by three to the Cleveland Browns. Just let me say, that game was not the prettiest game to, to watch. Let me just put that out there, it wasn't. But, honestly, if you look at that game, Buffalo should have had more points. And we should not have lost by three points. If you look at the recap and the film and all that, we should have won. But, hey, that, we're not... We're not hanging our head down. We're still in a good spot right now to move forward. The hard we need to do. So, with week 11 in the house right now, we are done with our redemption. Or redemption. Redemption! And who are we getting our redemption on? Well, nice good question, Di. We are redemptioning on Miami. That's why Buffalo is playing Miami, and we're gonna do all redemption. There's gonna be a third of us. We're gonna be playing with feeling. We're aiming to be fearless this week. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, Buffalo! Now, that's one day. Alright, so that was Buffalo versus Miami, and Buffalo's gonna win. Back in Thursday night game. I would have predicted Pittsburgh Steelers to win um, if I filmed this for Thursday, but I didn't. And Pittsburgh Steelers, what are you doing? Cleveland Browns, what is that? Oh my God! But also, I gotta say, Cleveland Brown, you're not allowed to hit somebody in the head with a helmet. What is wrong with you? Shame on you. You should know better. You know, you're just why? You just want attention because you won so many games. You won last week, you won this week, and you, I think you won the week before that. Well, Stephen Brown, you gotta chill out. You don't just go hit somebody in a helmet. So that guy's gonna do the fine. I, I know if I should, sure, he's gonna do the fine. But, what are you gonna do? The dame hovered it over and Brown won. Minus that whole helmet hitting in the head, but he's done it to the fine. There's no way he's not done it to the way with it. I like he's Tom Brady. Ha! <laughs> Alright. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. The next thing is the Cowboy versus the Lion. And, um,. Cowboys are better than the Lions. Lions are playing good, but I think Cowboys are going to win. 
Dummy Dot jabbed him in his dad while with the internet and toast. And it's gonna be a close matchup between these two teams, but I think in the after the toe is gonna win. Because they seem to like the Buffalo Bills. They done this with redemption from last week. Now you got the Broncos up with the Viking. In the book right here. Viking gonna win. Sorry about that. I had to change my back camera battery, but we're back. So like where were we? Oh right! We're talking about the next game, which is New Orleans State versus the Washington, wait, that one, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I think things gonna win without the starting quarterback, other than. Then we head into the Washington Redskins versus the New York Jets. This is gonna be a slow mashup. Very slow mashup. Both of these teams are easy to win. But who's gonna come out with the W? I don't know. New York Chef played mm, all right. They can do a little bit better. Dalton to Washington. It's gonna be a tight matchup. Not a lot of scoring. Maybe it might, it might be an all field goal type of game. Then we got the Falcon for the Panthers. Oof. And I think I'm gonna go with the Panthers. They've, they've been playing some good football. Fast in the second half. Then we got the Texans for the Ravens. And I'm sorry to Sean Watson and the Texans, but I don't think you can stop Lamar Jackson. Baltimore's gonna take the W. I would love the Texans to win, so Buffalo played uh, Baltimore in December, but I don't think I don't think uh, Texans can just stop them. Then we got the Ariana Tarnos and the 49ers. And before last week, the 49ers were undefeated. And then they played Monday night in Seattle. And that game went into overtime. And let's just say Seattle won by two. And so that means the last NFL football team this season to be undefeated is no longer undefeated. So, that's good. There is no undefeated football team in the NFL right now. But, I think 49ers are going to get their redemption from that overtime loss to the Ariana Tarno and Ty Murray. Then we got the Raiders and the Bengals. And then, the Bengals are the only NFL team that have not won a game. And the Raiders are average, but if they're average, throwing up is a team that have not won. I don't know, it might make you look good because you're playing not a very good football team right now. Then we got to pay here for the Eagle. Now, Buffalo already played the Eagle, but we still have to play the pay here one more time in December. And Ashley. New team out this week, then, I mean this week, that that pay for your Buffalo Bills game, December, it's supposed to be December 17th, um, in week 15. No, it, it was supposed to be December 22nd. It's now on December 21st, which is a Saturday at 4.25 in Boston. So, we're gonna have some solid football pro bowl game. And a pay for both Buffalo in Boston on that Saturday. Well, that's gonna be interesting. But, back to the Eagles of Patriot, I want Eagles to beat up Tom Brady, so. Yeah. But I, I don't want Eagles team to win, but I want Patriot to be 8 and 2. Then we got the, the Bell for the Rams. This is going to be a slow game. Both of these teams are like neck and neck. And if I had a special winner, I might say the Ram over the Bill. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, I don't know where that came from. Maybe my left over dinner. I don't know. But, with that out of the way, hopefully for the rest of the video, let's get back into this. So, 
I'm thinking the way I'm gonna win, Jeffrey doesn't fail, I was doing that great. Um, neither is the Wham, matter of fact, but I think Wham can somehow throw out the win by a double point. And then Sunday night, nope, I'm on. Monday night, we got the Kansas City Chiefs, and they got past my home back, and yeah, he got me. 33 point last week on my fantasy team. Hit first day back from hit injury. Don't pass my home. So, do that and then pass my home, and you will win, and then the then Los Angeles Chargers. Because the Chargers are not doing that this, this year. So, I'm picking pass my home to take down the Chargers again. So, with that being said, that is all the week 11 action in the NFL. Comment down below if you agree with what I said. If you agree uh, who's gonna win or who's gonna lose this weekend. And who's ready for some football action on Sunday? Yeah, I am. Just saying. I am. So, with that being said, before we end the video, do you guys still watching football? Let's have a little chat. Y'all, you know what I'm gonna say. You all know what I'm gonna say. Find your magic moment, y'all. You are worth it. Believe in yourself. Be yourself. Love yourself. And just... You're the only one who knows who you are back. And once you do all those things, you will have a happier life. And... You can do whatever you want. Die. Do whatever you want. Don't do something because someone told you to do it. Do whatever you want. Have, take the advice or whatever, but don't take it seriously. If you have a heart set on something, do it. Just do it. Literally just do it. We, we live in a perfect time right now where we can do whatever we want. It's true, we can. So if you have something that you really want to do right now, just start now. Just start now and just do it. Have good friendship behind you, but also just start now and do it. Because that's what life is about. It's making sure you're happy and surrounding yourself with the people who make you happy and make sure you're doing something that you want to do. So just do it. You are worth it. Remember that. If you take anything out of my video, take out these two things. Find your magic moment, and you are worth it. Just take those two things out. If that's all you did out of the video, take those two things. Because those two things right there, it's gonna help you be happy. And it's actually gonna help you get out of bed. So, with that being done, before we get into the week 10, week 11, my bad, week 11 LFL action on Sunday afternoon. Let's do a little bit of random dancing. Let's do that. Let's do the hype up. So we all need that. Even if you are not a football fan, even if you don't watch football, go, go dance. Get that heart rate up. Go find something to do. So we, we all we all need something. You can do whatever you want. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. With that being said, let's do some random dancing. And I think I know the perfect song to do it too. So we're talking about it right now. So let's go. 